ain't gonna, I'm not even gonna get a headset for this video, bro. I'm gonna just come on here and speak my mind, bro. Y'all know what's been happening on Twitter and this whole Kiki Usher and her husband situation going on. I'm like in the middle though, cause like they both sides are bringing up a good point, but both sides aren't trying to aren't trying to understand each other to be in the middle. Cause I'm middle ground and I know where do I start? I'm gonna start by the tweet. Number three. So he tweeted out that we live in a generation where a man of uh, where a man of the family doesn't want his wife slash mother to his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please others, and he gets told how much of a hater he is. This is my family and my representation. I have standards and morals to what I believe, and I rest my case. When I first saw that, when I first saw this tweet, I'm like, bro, bravo. Stand on that. That's what I that because I have morals and I have principles and I have stuff that I stand on. I have stuff that I value. But then it's like, why are you tweeting this? And then it's also like you picked that woman. You knew who she was when you met her. You picked that woman. You knew who she was when you met her. You can't try to control her. That's who she wants to be. That's not some shit. Like uh, me personally, that's not a woman I would be with. Like Kiki, that's the type of woman I would be with. But it's also not someone I'm gonna sit there and judge. I don't. I'm not gonna judge her. Like. She wants Usher touching all up on her, but she's in the marriage, which is kind of crazy to me. Which is also wrong. You have Usher singing to you, touching on you, and you doing 360 for other men. That's when you're wrong. That's when you're making him look bad. That's when you're not representing your family really well. It's cool that her, the outfit she had on is cool. I don't have a problem with her outfit. It's cool. It's just the fact that you're in a marriage. You have a ring. Like, I don't know if she has a ring on in the video, but she's, in the, she's married. She has children. She has a husband at home. But yet you're at a concert letting another man sing and touch on you and then you're doing 360s for the man. That's when you're on. But she values freedom. He values, he's more conservative, uh, traditional family based. That's what he values. They both have two different sets of values and they try to come together to make that shit work. It's not going to work. She wants to be able to do what she wants to do and also be married. You want her to be more motherly and cover up more, but you pick you pick to marry you can't get mad at that person to for what she wants to be that's who she wants to be i'm sitting here scrolling on twitter and i'm seeing the same shit she's not nothing she she's horrible she's a horrible piece oh my gosh she's such a hater he's he's hating on her he he doesn't want her to be great she's just having fun and i doubt that's his fault he tweeted that out and made it an issue on twitter like he tweeted that out and made it a whole big thing on twitter now everyone's in your business which he could have just you could let that be and then talk to her in private and told her how you really felt. But now everyone's in your business. Now y'all never going to come to a compromise. And this, this marriage is probably over with because you got you versus her. And now it's Twitter's, all, all the social media's in your business now, including y'all too. And the thing is with this, it's you're trying to make it against her. Like you're now, it's you versus her. That's what people will make it seem like is you versus her. When in relationships, when there's a problem, it's not supposed to be you versus your partner. It's supposed to be you, your partner versus the issue at hand. And you guys are supposed to solve that problem together. And this is the problem with this gener like this people, I think in a relationship, I'm not even going to say generation, this people nowadays, because there's older people who are way older than me who act like freaking kids. Stop trying to control people. If when people show you who they really are, let them do them. Don't be trying to like, oh, I don't, I don't want you doing this. I don't want you doing that. I don't want you doing that. That's what she wants to do. If I had a woman, I have one. But if my woman wanted to somehow wanted to start dressing naked and going crazy, you can do that. Not over here though. You can you you gotta go. Cause that's not what I value. Though. That's not what I want in my life. I don't want that kind of stress and I don't want that in my life. I don't I've I have a set of values and principles that I'm gonna live by and I'm gonna stand on. So if a woman comes in my life and she thinks that she can sit there and do whatever she wants. By, by all means, do whatever the hell you want. You're just not going to do it here. So go away. I'll find someone else that's going to abide by, or not abide by my rules, but I'm going to pick somebody who has the same values and principles as me and who values the same shit as me. By all means, you're not going to always be seeing eye to eye to everything, but if a woman loves and respects you and this, this new age masculinity, this red pill money and all this, no, when a woman respects you, she respects you, so... I'm going to pick a woman that respects me. And she says, oh, my husband does not want me to do that. So I'm going, I'm not going to do that because he does, he wouldn't like me to do that. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to pick somebody that's going to be like, I'm going to do what I want to do. No, you're not. Not over here. You got to go. But we live in a day and age where men and women <clears throat> always try to control the other one. Like these red pill, these losers on these red pill podcasts be like, 
Professor Pitt, for example, those losers on that podcast who are trying to control women and put money on this high heights pedestal and you got to work out and go to the gym and you got to have money and you got to work out, you got to have money, you got to work out. You can't give her too much attention. You, you can't do, you can't, it's like you can't do shit. Like, it's like, bro, what's the, what, like, what they be preaching is dead wrong. That's not masculinity. That's not alpha. That's not whatever the hell they call it. Whatever they call that, that alpha, if that's alpha, I'm not alpha. I don't want to be alpha. If that's what that is. I'm not alpha. If that's what that is. But we live in a day and age where people, they always try to mold somebody into who they want them to be instead of picking somebody who has the same set of principles and values as you. If you want someone to, who, who wants to stay at home and be a stay-at-home wife, pick a stay-at-home wife. If you want a husband who lets you do what you want to do, pick a husband who lets you do what you want to do. Don't pick a husband that you clearly can see he has different views and then shame him for you know, not letting you do what you want to do and then embarrass him publicly, embarrassing him. Let Usher touch on you and sing in your ear and doing things. That's disrespectful. And I don't know. The people nowadays, they don't know. And I'm young. I'm still young. I'm only 21. But I feel like I know more about relationships than some of these folks on the internet. Stop picking people who don't have the same principles and values as you. Because I almost did the same shit when I was, you know, like a two years ago, I almost did the same thing. I picked somebody who doesn't have the same principles and values as me. And it didn't, it, it didn't work. Clearly, it didn't work. And I don't know, man. Just pick people and just surround yourself with people who value the same stuff as you. This all comes down to principles and values. Don't pick people who don't. I've been saying principles and values a whole lot of times this whole video, but that's really what this is about. Like, don't just pick people who don't share the same mindset as you. Pick someone with a similar mindset. Don't pick somebody with a opposite mindset and then get mad at that person and tweet it out and be like i rest my case and all this dumb shit because now you just look like a clown because that's who you picked that woman she also picked you so she can't be out here trying to embarrass you and make you look bad because that's who she picked to marry if she wants to be able to be free pick someone who lets you be free if you want someone who abides by your rules pick someone who has the same mindset as you and respects you to where she will abide by all your rules don't just be out here trying to don't be out here molding people into who you want them to be just because they look good. So I'm going to mold this woman into who I want her to be. No, don't do that. Because then you're, gonna, you're just going to drive yourself crazy because she's clearly not going to listen because that's not her. That's not who she is. She's her own person. Let her do what she wants to do. You just want to do it here. But go do what you want to do. You just want to do it here. So that's all I got to say for this situation. Um, Hopefully, I can come to a little conclusion a situation but i doubt that this shit's over with because now social media is involved in your relationship so yeah you jump over with but uh make sure you guys like comment and subscribe for more videos just like this one um new content i don't really do the little fortnite shit anymore and uh peace uh, uh, they throw rocks high, Ay. fuck the off slide, uh, uh, shots fire, Ay. now the cops flying, Ay. fuck a stop sign, Ay. reaper lock eyes.